Hurry up! Come on! Move it, you! Oh, move it! Oh, come on! Quickly! Hurry up! Come on! When I say move, move! Move! You! Keep going! Hurry up now! Come on, you lazy! Hurry up! In the land of the great Roman Empire, and within the territory of my reign, and in broad daylight, a few stray men attack our soldiers and set a group of criminals free, and there is no one in the city to stop them. So what exactly is it that you do? The Emperor is on his way, and the city is in a worse state than before. The Emperor will not believe that the idiocy and incompetence of my unworthy advisers is to blame for our current situation. He will think that Diocletian, commander of the Fifth Army of the Great Emperor of Rome, has become so weak that a bunch of faceless traitors can ambush us, kill our soldiers, and free our prisoners. Nothing major Nothing has happened, major Your Highness. Nothing has happened, Julius. A few thieves have attacked our soldiers and will soon be arrested. Julius... Be more forceful with the Christians. It seems we cannot get rid of them! We can put an end to them, Your Excellency. But, as I mentioned before, you must take certain precautions within the palace. Unfortunately, word from inside the palace is getting out. That is our biggest problem, Your Highness. In my opinion, Julius's warning is an appropriate one, Your Highness. Your Excellency, when the enemy is unable to subdue the military forces of a government, they instead infiltrate the courts and palaces and spread decay there. On the eve of the Emperor's arrival, the inappropriate behavior of a few traitors should not make Diocletian so distraught. You all speak of enemies within the palace that have no evidence or proof of your claims. If you speak the truth, prove it. Do so, and I will take the lives of these traitors in a way that will go down in history. Yeah. 